Welcome back, friends, to Surviving the Daily. I hope everyone is surviving well. So today we're putting the spotlight on a company and a product that you may not have heard of yet, but I assure you in the coming months and coming years, you will hear a lot more of them. And that is the American Service Knife Company, and this is the Jefferson. And you're probably asking yourself, why does he think it's so special? Well, take a look at the bottom right there. 100% made in the United States of America. And when I say that, I mean every ounce, every inch of this knife was sourced and made right here by Americans. And uh, it's a pretty special knife. And it's actually been a uh, grail knife uh, since I've heard of its conception. And uh, just recently I reached out to them and asked them if they were willing to do a uh, collaboration and uh, Kyle over there over at American Service Knife he jumped on it and pretty much just said hell yeah th let's do it and he sent this right out and I, I want to thank them for that it it's pretty awesome so at the same time too I want to apologize to both Greg Medford the, uh, the 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 founder of American Service Knife Company and, and Medford Knives as well as the American Service Knife Company itself because when I got the email response from Kyle I started doing my research and oh my god there's so much information out there about this knife uh, particularly from Greg Medford and uh, uh, I mean Anything from uh, design and engineering to uh, metal ergy, it just there's so much that went into this right here that my head is spinning. And uh, I'll admit it, I am in over my head with information about this knife. So I I hope to do uh, Greg Medford and the American Service Knife Company justice by making this video. But um, just know that uh, uh, there are probably better videos out there explaining exactly how this knife was made and why it was made and I urge you to check those out so let's get into it so I'd like to address the gorilla in the room and that gorilla is the $240 price tag and I know you're probably all gasping right now and you have to understand that this is 100% American made with American made and sourced materials and they're not just cheap materials they are high quality materials we have CPM S35 and S45 VN blade steel and tool steels we have titanium liners uh, and uh, hardware we have injected molded plastics made from injected molds uh, that are sourced right here in the United States right in Scottsdale Arizona I believe the uh, uh, the, the liners the, the titanium were, is from Florida and uh, it's just everything about this is American made and uh, uh, that adds a larger price tag secondly it is well it is a uh, uh, modular and I don't know if you can tell that from just looking at the box you can add tools you can subtract tools you can change out the uh, uh the handles for god's sakes i mean they sent extra handles here i'll show you why in a little bit but um right now it's a two layer you can add a third layer you can subtract a layer and make it a one layer knife so uh adding or adding the functionality of a modular knife that adds huge cost to it and you're probably saying well Roxon does it for forty dollars Roxon does it but they're Chinese and they're not using the highest quality of materials and uh, you're also probably saying well American made Leatherman well th yeah they are made in the United States but again they're not using the highest quality of materials they they're using a you know good quality materials for what the they need the tool to be but uh, still not as high quality as this and uh, well you have Victorinox Victorinox can do a, uh, a multi-tool knife for cheap I paid I think $60 for this I think the market rate for this is a hundred hundred twenty but still not American made and not the highest quality of materials uh, like this right here so one thing I wanted to address real quick before we get into the the knife here is let's take a look at the Olight i5R EOS here this is a Chinese made flashlight and help me out I think I paid what thirty dollars for this give or take and uh, great flashlight quality flashlight but to buy the equivalent USA made flashlight I'm gonna be spending what two hundred two hundred fifty dollars three hundred dollars for something equivalent to to this right here 
and even then it will not be 100 percent made in the united states the electronics the uh, the led will probably still be um you know chinese uh it wouldn't they still have to outsource some parts from outside the united states it will not be 100 percent made in the united states so when you look at the 240 forty dollar price tag of this realize that it is 100 percent every ounce i said this before every ounce and every inch of this is made right here in the united states so getting into it into the knife here and i am pretty stoked about this it is made specifically for the channel or customized for the channel and take a look at that that's amazing that is awesome surviving the daily yeah um, the, I, I I can't thank them enough for this, and uh, that's the beauty of this knife here. It is completely customizable. Uh, you can pick up uh, different handles off their website if if you want something different. They'll even uh, I believe on the website or if you talk talk to customer service, they'll give you the specifications to uh, uh, 3D print other handles for this. So let's uh, take a look at what's in the box before we get into the knife. We have a patch, a sticker, and uh, warranty, care, and maintenance. And they recommend that you don't sharpen this knife. You sharpen other knives before you sharpen this one. That way you can ruin a cheap knife before you learn how to sharpen a knife. Uh, also, uh, there's just some information. They want you to scan that QR code here. Uh, I said, don't don't learn to sharpen on an, on your new knife. Master sharpening on an easy to sharpen and disposable knife uh, before potentially destroying your American service knife. Don't uh, leave it wet or blood soaked. Don't leave it in salt water without doing thorough cleaning. And don't disassemble without watching our care and maintenance videos. So, and the care and maintenance videos are on that QR code. I don't know if we can get that, but so and a picture of Greg Medford. So the knife itself, it is uh, a slip joint knife and it's drop point blade. And uh, I just want to show you the the blade and how stout it is. I mean, it is. I already got a fingerprint on it. Well, it really does take those fingerprints. But, uh, that is a beautiful blade. And look how thick that is. I want to show you in comparison to a Swiss Army knife. If I can find the, the blade. First off, I mean, it, it just completely encompasses that right there. Second of all, look the difference in thickness of these blades. It is almost, I want to say, probably two and a half times as thick as the Swiss Army blade. So the blade itself is uh, measuring 2.9 inches overall. The, the cutting edge is 2.68 inches. You do have a small sharpening choil right here. The uh, overall length of the, uh, the knife when it's closed is 3.7 inches. And it is weighing in at 2.4 ounces. It's a very light knife. And I don't know if you can see inside. Uh, but the liners, the titanium liners, are milled. To, um, to produce weight even more. Do have nice half stops. On all the tools. So we have the, the chisel right here and the wrench. Um, and the chisel is not sharpened. Uh, but you can sharpen it to make it extra extra chiselly i guess but uh at the at this uh, uh the way it is it works best as a scraper than anything and we do have that knife on the same side as the knife we also have a flathead screwdriver and that uh, uh the, the the bottle opener that again was built from or designed from the ground up so 
it is, again, a great pleasure to own this knife, and I want to thank American Service Knife Company for sending this out. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and this, this right here just means the world to me. So make sure you check out American Service Knife Company, and uh, it's uh, asknife.com. And uh, I want to thank everyone for stopping in and checking out this video. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you're all having a great day, and I'll see you next time.